Hey everyone, today in this video, we're gonna be taking a deep dive into the Roborock S8 Max V Ultra map settings. If you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. So let's jump right in. From the app, you gotta enter into your device. It's gonna bring up the map that it's populated. I've already edited our map to change room names and make sure the layout was exactly how I wanted it. But from this screen, you can get to those map settings by selecting the map icon near the right hand side middle of the screen above the video camera icon. So now we can edit our map. So we can back up, use a backup or delete the map. And then we have multiple options down below here. No go zones, edit the room, edit furniture, edit surface. You also notice another tab. So we can do 2D or 3D. And then we can build out certain things, room name, floor type, furniture and obstacles, right? Do you wanna display those or not on the map? It's up to you what you want to have showing there. Let's go back to the edit map tab and we could rename it. We can add another map, clean a map, just do a quick map. It's really up to you. This does support multi-level mapping and all that can be achieved right here to easily start a new map or a new map and cleaning. I recommend just doing the quick mapping first, then come back, set it all up how you want and let it do its first clean, but to each their own. Anyways, down at the bottom here, no go zones. We can set up invisible walls. Everything's just drag and drop, rotate, resize, as needed and we can also set up no-go zones where do you want this vacuum and mop not to go right so pick and choose those and if you're wondering you can add multiples of each right so we can really build that out next we can edit our rooms so we'll select edit room we can choose rooms to merge divide or rename as needed so we could select living room and dining room and merge them together or we could just select dining room and we could divide it or if we wanted to rename something, we can just pick and choose from this lovely list right here. Next, we can edit furniture. So select edit furniture. If you wanna add a table, a couch, chairs, ottomans, things along those lines, you can do all of that here. So bed, bed, TV stand, you get the idea. Sofas, look at all the furniture pieces that they have here that we can build out. Let's just do a coffee table for fun. So we could select that, reposition and resize, just like a virtual wall or barrier, you can rotate it. You can do everything right there from within the app. See that chair? Maybe we don't want it there. See that couch? Same thing, we can also remove pieces of furniture and then we can update our map. Next, we can edit surfaces. So we can select that. We have different floor type options here, tile, floor horizontal, floor vertical, or default. So you can pick and choose your floor type. So we gotta set a zone and we could say, hey, this is actually this way, right? But let's go ahead and have a little fun here and do floor horizontal. Now it changed the position to horizontal. We could go through each room or multiple rooms and do the same thing. Hey, the floor is actually horizontal. I want to change that. And then we can save the map. Additionally, we can select the carpet feature here. So we can tap on the carpet to edit. Say we wanted to add a piece of carpet somewhere around our environment, we could do that right there. You can add multiple pieces if you're wondering. Or maybe we have an entrapping threshold. So you can see you can intelligently move over thresholds for fewer entrapments. So you could select that and then you could add it, right? Configure passage threshold, stone threshold, custom, drag, drop position where it is on your map. Now that we've looked at all of these settings here, let's go over to our settings icon in the top right hand corner and we have some additional map features we can look at. So we're gonna go all the way down here to manage maps. Where we have our map saving, we can toggle that on or off and we can select if we have a single level or multi-level home. If you're wondering, this can save up to four maps and you can either manually select each map as you maybe take it upstairs or downstairs or you can turn on smart recognition and let it do its thing and get the map for you automatically depending on the environment that you have it in. Next, we have our map one right here. We can edit it, restore, or create a new map. If we create the new map, same thing we could get to earlier. If you wanna have it clean and map or just do quick mapping, it's up to you. And if you're wondering, if we hit edit map here, it brings up all the same settings we were looking at previously just from the product home screen. And lastly, this might be a little bit of a stretch, but it's technically mapping in my book. They have a pin and go feature here where we can actually see our map and then we can choose an area on the map where we want the vacuum to go. So if you want to go over there, 
you can have it drive itself automatically to whatever area on the map you select. And if we're already making some stretches anyways, why not one more thing? If you look at the cleaning history from your settings icon, we can select that. This will give us a map as well too. So let's go look at our full clean. And it gives us a breakdown of our map here. Different objects it recognizes, pieces of furniture, how it cleaned, which areas gives you all those stats at the bottom. So you got the cleaning route and you have the dirt map. So what was the dirt level? Get a feel for all of that right there. So this unit is equipped with some pretty advanced mapping features.